Hi, how are you all? Welcome to the third part of the topic pulley. Okay, in the first part we discussed about single fixed pulley and single movable pulley. And we saw the efficiency, mechanical advantage and velocity ratio. The link is there in the description box. And in second part we saw the benefits of connecting more movable pulleys. Okay, and we saw the mechanical advantage, velocity ratio and yeah, efficiency. The link is there in the description box. Okay, and today's third part we'll discuss that uh, we'll combine both movable and fixed pulleys. Okay, we'll connect few movable pulleys, few fixed pulleys together and we'll see how the arrangement benefits you. Okay, and we'll call this system block and tackle system okay where we are connecting both movable and fixed pulleys so what is the name i said yes block and tackle okay see here we will take say i am taking uh, four pulleys okay one two three four okay I have taken four pulleys and remember these two pulleys are fixed okay these two pulleys are fixed fixed pulleys okay and these two pulleys are movable pulleys they are not fixed okay they are not fixed they can go up and down both this pulley both these pulleys can go up and down okay but these pulleys are fixed We'll call it block. This is block. Means the pulleys which are fixed are called block. And here both are movable pulleys. They are not fixed. Movable pulleys. We'll call them tackle. Okay. Block and tackle system. Okay. See how we'll connect them. See. First, first of all, we'll take the rope from here. And this is the rope going and it will go to the last pulley I think this is not visible see this rope is going to the last pulley okay from the last pulley again it is going to the second pulley and from the second this is going here okay see from here it is connecting this point okay understood this is the way we will connect all the fixed and movable pulleys. Okay. Here is this point from where we apply the effort. Okay. Effort. And with this center, we connect the load. Say this is my load. Anything. Say water, uh, bucket filled with water or anything. Okay. This is the load. Now, see one thing. If I cut from here, the load will fall down. If I cut from here, the load will fall down. That means load is depending on both these tensions. Okay. Both this tension. Say T. T. Okay. So I can say that L equal to 2T. Okay. L equal to 2T. Got it? But that is also wrong. This 2T is wrong. See how. If I cut cut from here this t will fall down if i cut from here the t will fall down okay see that means this t is depending on this t okay and this t is depending on this t because from here if you cut the whole system will fall down so this t that means load is connected with 1 2 3 4 load is connected with 40 yes load is connected with 40 and this t is going there and here is another t okay so effort is only t okay effort is only t understood load is 40 effort is only t now in this system in this block and tackle system if you displace the effort by 4 centimeter 
if you displace the effort by 4 cm then the load will go up by 1 cm okay if you displace the effort by 4 cm then load will go up by 1 cm okay so i can say that if the effort displacement of effort is 4x displacement of effort is 4x then displacement of load will be only x only x got it so i can easily calculate the mechanical advantage and velocity ratio how mechanical advantage equal to load by effort that is 40 by t 40 by t so 4 what is velocity ratio velocity ratio equal to displacement of effort by displacement of load that is 4x by x that is 4x by x that is 4 so what is efficiency efficiency equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100 so mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100 that is 100 percent is the efficiency so this is the block and tackle system as i told you this is block this is tackle and this is the calculation okay now here one important thing number of pulleys in block and number of pulleys in tackle may equal you understood number of pulleys in block that is 2 number of pulleys in tackle is 2 both are equal that is possible okay or number of pulleys in block is greater than number of pulleys in tackle is also possible understood so number of pulleys in block and number of pulleys in tackle this is possible number of pulleys in block is greater than number of pulleys in tackle that is also possible but number of pulleys in block is less than number of pulleys in tackle this is not possible okay that means 2 2 i have connected correct 3 3 you are connecting that is also correct here 2 here 1 you are connecting that is correct but here 1 and here 2 that is not correct because you cannot take more number of pulleys in tackle okay you have to take equal or less number of pulleys in tackle i hope you understood this okay now if you have got any doubt on this calculation just rewatch the video from the beginning you will understand everything and still if you have got any doubt just write your question in the comment section i'll reply that okay so this much for today we'll meet in our next video thank you all